Do you think it's impossible to cook a real Italian dish in only one pot? And I'm not talking about one pot, milk, pasta, chicken, broccoli, tasty recipe. <laughs> ragazzi welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you how to cook this traditional one pan cod fillet fish with potatoes directly from the beautiful sunny seaside city of gallipoli it's called bacala a tiesto culi patate which means cod fillet with potatoes in a pan. Not only is a simple dish, but it's full of flavors and aroma of this beautiful southern Italian land. Before starting, I just want to remind you, you can support my channel by subscribing and giving me a thumb up at the end of the recipe, of course, if you enjoyed it. And now, let's get started. I have here two fillets of uh, cod under brine and I'm gonna wash them gently under fresh water. Then I place them inside a container with again fresh water and I leave them just for one maximum two hours. If you have uh, cod under salt then you have to do this process for at least two days, changing the water twice a day. While my cod fillet are resting in the water, I'm getting ready with the other ingredients. So I place the capers for 15-20 minutes in water, peel the potatoes and slice them thinly. For this dish I'm using potatoes for gnocchi, but also mountain potatoes are great. Slice thinly also a golden onion. Time to remove the capers from the water. Get ready also 10 black olives. If you can find Tajaske olives from Liguria, the small ones, they're the best. I cut in four pieces some cherry tomatoes or if you can find Pacchino tomatoes. And now let's complete our cod filet. Check the filet with your hands to find the bones and remove them. They are pretty big and thick, so they're quite easy to find them. Once you removed all the bones, it's time to remove the fish skin. With one hand, keep firm the fish and with the other, gently pull the skin. Cut the filet into small chunks. And now it's time to put together the dish. Oil a large and low pan that can go also into the oven. Place a first layer of onion and cover them with a layer of potatoes. Place the tomatoes, capers, five olives, sprinkle some fresh oregano and place two or three bay leaves. Salt, black pepper, a drizzle of olive oil and now it's time for the cod filet. Again, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, black pepper, some fresh chopped parsley. Then cover the fish with another layer of potatoes. Again, a little bit of salt and pepper, tomatoes, onion, capers, black olives, again some fresh parsley, another sprinkle of oregano and bay leaves. I complete the dish with some freshly grated parmigiano reggiano. Now add water, enough to cover the whole bottom of the pan, just right under the second layer of potatoes. During the cooking time, indeed, the water level will rise. Start to cook at high heat for the first few minutes, then low the heat and place the lid on the pan, leaving it a little bit open. Cook for about 30 minutes, checking once in a while the water level. If it's going to be absorbed too much, add a little bit more and shaking gently the pan so the ingredients won't stick to the bottom. When the potatoes are cooked, 
and the fish stock is reduced but not completely absorbed, you can turn off the heat and cover everything with a layer of breadcrumbs. Again, a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and place the pan in the oven with the grill function for 5-10 minutes or until the surface gets golden brown with some crunchy potatoes and onions. Bring the pan directly at the table. Serve the cod with a nice ladleful of fish stock and two bread slices ready to use for making scarpetta. Leave the leftovers inside the pan, cover it and place it in the fridge ready to be warmed up the next day. The aroma and flavors will develop even more. I hope you enjoyed this traditional Italian dish. See you next week and buon appetito!